All right, some Love Island concert. Let's get into this. So Molly May is getting it. Um, trailers have been released, and yeah. Hey guys, it's Marab Marabi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Let's get straight into this video. So Molly May obviously is getting it and has been getting it to be honest with you over the last week and a half for her silence when it comes to what is going on in Palestine. Before anybody says, oh, you know, she doesn't need to speak on it or etc. She's not an activist. Palestinians who are losing their parents, sisters, brothers, left, right, and center are asking for everybody to speak up. So as the biggest girl influencer in the UK, if you're not speaking up, I am definitely side-eyeing you because you absolutely should be when a genocide is going on. Point blank, period. There are, there's no excuses. There's no, you're not an activist. You shouldn't be, you should be speaking up. That's it. Question ended. That's it. You've got a huge platform, utilize it. Do you understand? Um, she has now spoken up after so much pressure after a week and a half. And I'm glad that people are putting pressure on the big influencers, the content creators. And I really jumped the gun and I, I really shouldn't. But a lot of people aren't aware or, un, or educated on what is going on. You know, what Israel have been doing to Palestine for the last seven, five years. A lot of people just don't know. Obviously, if you are somebody who is Muslim beyond your race, or if you are an Arab or Asian individual, you are definitely going to know what is going on because we've all been brought up about it since we were kids. However, a lot of people outside of that don't know. And I have to accept that reality because it is a reality. However, at the same time, I'm glad that people have, have been putting pressure on her to speak up because she is the biggest content creator influencer and you can significantly educate your followers who know nothing about X, Y, Z that's going on. It's not about me harping on reality TV girls to speak up or like and we're relying on it or I'm begging on it or please. The Palestinians are asking for everybody to speak up. So if you are an influencer, you must speak up. That's just how I see it. Now, what she's put up obviously is irritating and it's completely wrong to what is going on. And now she's getting dragged for that. Things I've been seeing in the new, basically her statement was very neutral. She didn't even mention the word Palestine, didn't even mention that Palestine was going through any kind of apartheid or genocide in any capacity. And if you are neutral, you are on the side of the oppressor. And for you to put that up on your main platform where you have a lot of followers is very much wrong. Now, granted, when you want to force people to speak up who are not in the right directory or experience, then when they do speak up, you're angry at them again. The cycle goes, the cycle goes. I get that nuance. I get that perspective. And I get those comments are going to come my way. We should have begged the wrong people to speak up because they speak up with them we get angry at them these people that people are asking to speak up are adults they're grown adults 23 24 25 26 they are grown adults you understand grown adults who can very much educate themselves on what is going on in a matter of two hours or an hour the right infographics the right information it is all there for them to see if this girl knows how to edit a YouTube video, then you very well can read, understand, and look online about what is going on when it comes to the genocide of Palestinians. So A, it doesn't take you a week to even learn or understand that. B, you've now put up a very neutral statement, but you have such a long time to discuss it. And C, you have now created such a level of mis education for your followers and cause so much damage that is very unnecessary. So clearly a lot of people now are angry with her for her neutral stance, Anybody who's neutral and not for Palestinians, I just don't have respect for you. I don't have respect for you because when the going gets tough, I don't care about influencer deals and followers and brands and who's got the most this and most that. I just don't care. All I care about is these Palestinians who are dying left, right and center. Nearly 6,000 have passed away. Nearly 2,000 children have passed away. Palestine have been under occupation and apartheid for a very long time. And barely pe people are speaking on it not only her but i feel like the big love island girls boys and of course i obviously love love island so i'm disappointed in the people that i like i feel like i can sue and i mentioned this before has not done enough in any capacity reposting one infographic does nothing the girl is a turkish muslim influencer at the end of the day uh, i know she's muslim and she's turkish and if you are one of those or both of those you very well know what is going on in palestine and if you were very vocal about what was going on in turkey how are you barely vocal for what is going on in palestine I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no, I don't want to hear none of that. There's, there's not one explanation or excuse for anything. As a Turkish Muslim girl, you, I can see, are not doing enough for what is going on in Palestine at any capacity. There is a genocide going on and apartheid and you are not doing enough in any capacity. And I am completely publicly disappointed in the fact that she has not done enough. Reposting two infographics is nothing. I'm so sorry. There's a lot more this girl can do. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. And I'm just so upset because you, especially the Muslim girls, you don't have to be religious to be Muslim at this point, child. Especially the Muslim girls, the Turkish girls, the Arab girls. If you're influencers, content creators, and you are barely speaking up or doing one or two things, 
you are not doing enough in any capacity. And I, and I know that the Muslim people would completely get what I'm saying here because we know exactly what is going on in Palestine. So I'm very disappointed in the fact that she herself is not doing enough. That's it. I'm not looking at all the girls and boys and pledging because they should be, but nobody has a, people don't have a heart like me, child. People are suffering. I really want to speak out and do something. Do you understand? Or hand out water bowls today like I was doing because people are suffering. When the going gets tough and injustice is taking place, raise your voice. Otherwise, what are you influencing? Molly May's statement was very damaging. It was neutral and it was not what she should have done. And I don't want to hear this. We shouldn't be asking influencers to speak up because they're not activists. And when they do speak up, they say the wrong thing. Then we get angry at them. I don't want to hear none of that. Because the people that were asking to speak up are grown adults who can very much educate themselves and put up the right information that they need to do. It's very easy to understand that Palestine is going under a, a genocide and apartheid. It's very easy to understand that and just say that. Very easy. Like, I don't understand. It really irks my brain because these grown adult influencers who are being, you know, stressed out and told to say things are very well clearly saying the wrong things when, they can, when they're grown and can educate themselves. I don't understand. It honestly irks my brain. It irks my brain. It is free Palestine all day, every day. And if you are neutral or if you are pro-Israeli, bye. Goodbye. There's, there's no in-between here, child. It's... It, 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 it's goodbye. I'm not here for any innocent Israeli or Palestinian person to pass away. Unfortunately, you'll be dead. But if you take my house, then some people are going to violently take it back. That's basically what's happening here. Israel is the oppressor. Like, this is common sense. Some people are saying, oh, Murat, you didn't condemn what Hamas has done and etc. I very well did. Research, because I very well did. They shouldn't have been killing X, Y, Z. But when you are committing a genocide, an apartheid, for the past 75 years, the people who are being oppressed are not going to fight back in any capacity. Let's not be dumb here, guys, please. Oh, let's, let, let, please not be dumb here. Um, anyways, moving on. Love, Love Island Games trailer has been released. And clearly Curtis is getting it, being told he's got small dick energy. Not really surprised, to be honest with you. And then, of course, you know, we have um, Georgia Steele there. We have Megan Barn Hansen. The show is launching in roughly, I would say, nine days on the 1st of November, only on Peacock. I thought it was airing on ITV2, but it's not. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I feel like it's giving fixed for me. I'm not really... I'm gonna try to be happy for it, but I'm really not. I just feel like once we start doing up all stars and uh, all of that, and the, you know, Liberty in her confessional saying that she's finally, fi finally ready to find love. No, you're not. You're not ready to find love, babes. Like you've not come here to find love. You've been paid a check by Peacock, and that's why you're on the show, and because it helps give you that extra clout. Let's just keep. It, let's just call it what it is at this point, because you know it is what it is. We're not mad at it, but it looks fun. We'll just see what it gives. But at the same time, it's also giving me force, and so I'm not that heavily interested right now to be honest with you and then the majority of them are going to be uk big stars but we aren't even watching it live on itvt so what is the point i don't understand um i don't understand anyways let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this i don't even know what the video is guys but let me know what just comes to it subscribe to the channel guys click that button for daily and consistent content i don't see how anybody in the comments can disagree with me when i say that these influencer people should be speaking up and raising awareness and that when they do they say the wrong thing they should definitely be told off because they're grown adults and they can educate themselves before putting out these statements i don't want to see anybody you can't argue with that like whatever anybody's anybody's argument against that is rooted in significant amount of privilege because you're not living under a genocide or apartheid have some sympathy and empathy for these people these children who are dying left right and center especially in that hospital especially in another place especially a church that just got blown up and so many people in that church were sheltering and they had died i don't i don't i, I just can't see anything else arguing against it's rooted in significant amount of privilege to understand and these brand deals are trying to come at me trying to you know make me do up um go for them because these these is really brands that are trying to work with me now i don't want blood money i don't want blood money Okay, good night. Anyways, subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button and I'll catch you guys soon.